breaking news. Buhari's chief cabal officer and strong man, defender of Buhari, and the attorney general of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has reportedly slumped in an event in Sokoto. The Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation was said to have slumped and collapsed in a function in Sokoto State during an official assignment. He was said to have been immediately surrounded by anxious aides and dignitaries who raised him up from the ground after successfully reviving him. Abubakar Malami, who recently returned from an official visit to Turkey, was said to be in Sokoto State for the inauguration of the reconstructed State High Court complex. News reports learned that the Justice Minister, whom witnesses said looked exhausted after his speech, collapsed and was revived. A close source to the Attorney General of the Federation, who confirmed the incident, said he was currently at a hospital in Abuja after he was transported sick from Sukutu. Abubakar Malami, along with the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Tanku, was said to be in Sokoto to commission the reconstructed State High Court complex. You recall that just a um, few days or weeks ago, Bola Ametinubu was the one who slumped in an event in Kaduna, I think, or Kano State, as the case may be. I'm not sure which of the states right now. But reports has it that he collapsed. And um, after collapsing, he was uh, he probably missed his steps, and he was helped by eight who were around him, and uh, he regained his uh, himself back. Now, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, who is one of the high chief cabals in Asurog under the Buhari's administration, has now collapsed and uh, slumped and collapsed, according to news report filing in. This tells you that, to a very large extent, some of these guys are unfit. They are not okay. They are sick. They are not well. The question is, who is this person? The question is, who is this? Uh, who are these people, rather? Uh, who are, uh, well, what exactly is responsible for the collapsing and the slumping of these guys? The cabal members are already beginning to take a hit gradually. It was Abakiari at first, then Issa Funtua, then some other persons, Buhari's personal driver, and some other people. So if care is not taken, could it be that this is a warning? Could it be that this is a call to order or something is wrong somewhere or it is just a case of coincidence or it is just a case of being exhausted after so much work or sleepless nights or traveling from one place to another well it is what it is guys something is happening that uh, we probably might not be aware of but we just hope that at the end of the day it is not something tragic you know it is not something tragic. But be that as it were, don't forget that even the um, chief judge of the Federation or chief justice of the Federation, as the case may be, had also been reported to be uh, down with coronavirus and he was flown to Dubai. But however, with what is going on right now and the stop men are actually being um, said to be slumping, something might just be wrong somewhere and the worst part of it is that these guys don't want to leave power they do not want to step away from power they just want to continue don't forget that this same attorney general of the federation and the minister of justice is has been taunted to 
be preparing to take over from Buhari in 2023. He is the same person that was reported to have said that Atiku Abubakar is not a Nigerian and is pursuing a court case against Atiku that he's not a Nigerian and he's not fit to, call, to contest for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is the same person. So why is it that these old men are not sitting out this issue of presidency as it is and allowing other people, younger minds, people who have great intellect, people who are sound, who are fit physically and otherwise, to go for the job? These are the same people who are dividing the wealth of this country among themselves, sharing it among themselves, taking people's um, people taking people for granted, you know, leading the charge against the innocent people in this country. It leaves us with the uh, uh, to imagine how these people are probably not interested in the well-being of Nigeria as a country. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. What good does Abubakar Malami have to offer to Nigeria as it is, if not for his own personal aggrandizement with the, with, with, with the level of, um, or with what he has achieved, or with the level he has got into in his career as the Attorney General of the Federation and Chief Justice, or, yes, Minister of Justice as the SBP? Has he not seen enough? Has he not had enough? Has he not stolen enough or collected enough or diverted enough, depending on which he is, he is responsible for? So why are they still putting their neck in, dipping their neck into the issue of presidency? I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is just what it is. It is really, really a sad one. What? A report says that he is in a hospital in Abuja as he was transported sick from Sokoto. Whatever is wrong with him has not been stated and it has not been made public yet. But what reports is saying is that the man is down and he is sick. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. We hope he did not contact uh, the novel coronavirus in Turkey where he was said to have reportedly uh, arrived from just a few days ago before he traveled to Sokoto State. It is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Grab by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet subscribed. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.